Well, it's exciting because it puts you on the main stage of college athletics, and, and, and you look at the sports around what's happening right now today, and this, this weekend, and as it goes into the Final Four, it's all everybody's talking about is the Final Four, right? Well, to send a team to the Final Four is incredible for Syracuse University to say we had a part in that. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, many times, I would say probably two of the last three times, we've had the national champion team that won the championship on this floor, which is kind of neat to know that they were in here and played in your venue. This is an iconic venue. I mean, to them to come in and say we're going to play in the Carrier Dome, I mean, sure, it's huge. I mean, look at some of the games that have gone on here. All the on-campus attendance records are in this building. Um, we'll, be, we'll be right up there with the attendance for this game, too. So, yeah, of course, it's a great place to play. And Friday night, the show, we had the stage and all the equipment out of here by noon. By 3.30 in the afternoon, we were groomed and ready for one of the biggest lacrosse games of the year against Duke on Sunday. And then we worked from the 3.30 after the game till 4 in the morning on uh, Monday morning. Worked all day yesterday. Um, and I'm sure today is our last day to really get the prep done. Challenging parts are the pieces that we don't own, which is the court and the baskets and the big bridge that we build for the general public to walk on to stay out of the media area. So again, it was a basketball, typical basketball setup for us from the, the seating perspective. Um, a little bit different on the court side setup with the, uh, the media requirements and some of the media requirements on this side. So it, it, it entails bringing in some extra equipment on our part that we own to set up to make that happen. I've got a lot of ADs, a lot of associate ADs from all the local colleges just saying, we want to help, we want to help, what can we do to be there? It's one of those events that people just want to be there to say, hey, I had a hand in that because it is so prestigious. So we, there's been a lot of planning going on and, uh, you know, with the city and with the, with, with, uh, the convention and the visitors bureau. This is a huge event for the city of Syracuse. I think it's just fun, the, the level of excitement when the teams come to the back door and, and everybody has to realize they've already been at a venue, so they've experienced the whole entry policy and the way things go. But there's, there's always that, you know, it's just kind of exciting to watch them walk out on the court that open day of practice kind of makes the hair in the back of your neck stand up like, wow, you know, this is such a huge event for everybody and the players have so much fun and the people that travel with the teams and I mean even today dealing with police escorts and things like that this morning, that's fun talking to the city police and saying, hey, you've got this team over here, they want to go to the Carmelo Center, then they're going to come here, and all the teams have opted to use the Carmelo Center as their off-site practice place or something like that. You know, it's kind of cool that not only do they love coming to the Carrier Dome, they love the Carmelo Center because it is the nicest indoor practice facility in the country, and this is the largest on-campus, you know, facility in the country. So it, it's a home run for, I think, Syracuse Athletics.